energy of love, from the wisdom of the feminine divine, in honor of the wisdom of the masculine divine, we greet you. A consciousness of unity, a consciousness to support you as you birth yourselves to the new level of existence. You find yourselves open, your arms wide, it is as if you are letting go and receiving at the same time. And indeed, you are. For what is to come is yet to be written with the energy of the heart and the strength of your growing understanding. You are ready to rewrite history. You have the opportunity to rewrite history, to no longer repeat that which has happened upon the planet again and again, for encoded within your DNA are the answers to the challenges that you face upon the planet. And we see that you are cultivating them. We see that you are cultivating yourselves to grow in new awareness to understand that there is more to you than you can see, to know that even as you let go, you are opening up to something new. Ah, this is what was hoped for. This is what was seeded within you. And you're that close. It will take vigilance. It will take persistence. It will take your ability to continue to recalibrate yourself, to change the very foundations. And not only has the Kundalini of the earth on south, but so has the Kundalini of your very own being. 60 centimeters beneath your feet, this is where you will find your nurturing. <sighs> we are astounded by that which we see for the possibilities are filled with more than we could have hoped for in honor of the masculine divine, the feminine divine calibrates and grows in strength and this is appropriate and why has the Kundalini gone south? For it is now more inclusive of that which you call the feminine energy and this is not about the body that you wear. It is about the energies within you. And we are so honored, so encouraged for the seeding that was done so long ago is now ready to blossom. And it is within you. For as the energy begins in the center below and rises through your body, you will merge, each one of you, the wisdom of the feminine divine and the wisdom of the masculine divine is within you. And you bring about an energy of unity within you. Feel it within your hearts. This unity brings strength, completion, new awareness new knowledge and ability to make a difference. Peace filled empowerment is yours. For as the wisdom of the feminine divine honors the wisdom of the masculine divine, the masculine divine allows, and now we have completion as we have never had before. Take a deep breath. Experience the energy of completion within you. Know that you are whole. Redefine that which you call holy, for encoded within your very being 
are extraction codes which you are just now opening to. <laughs> and there is much more to come. Before we finish, we wish to go into this place. It has to do with the chemicals of enlightenment in your body. Your physical heart surrounded by the pericardium. Mm -hmm. Within the pericardium, there are cells that produce hormones. We ask you now to focus within your heart, to give yourself permission to activate those chemicals of enlightenment. When a woman gives birth, there is a chemical release, the consciousness change, and out comes the new being. You are giving birth to yourselves in the unity, and out comes more of who you are. And as we finish, we remind you, you will nurture yourself beginning in the center below, connecting with the earth. However, the energy now will be more complete, for the energy will be catalyzed, energized, dare we say, electrified with life. For that which is in you that is of the earth is now opening to that which is in you of the stars at a new level never seen before. You are invited to the universal party. We celebrate. From the wisdom of the feminine divine, in honor of the wisdom of the masculine divine, and the energy of love. Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon, a magnetic servant. so that the energy on the earth is starting to change that which is really even in human nature what's next if the old soul has lived for eons on the planet that means that there are old souls here that need to learn how to do something different for no amount of experience in an old energy will prepare you for the new. And so it is not going to be automatic. There's a learning curve even for the old soul. And that is the subject of all of this year's teaching. The things are recalibrating very essence of things that you feel that you understand so well are recalibrated. Relationships, human to human, recalibrated. And even that which you feel is survival for you is starting to change. And you ask yourselves, what can I do? What should I be aware of? What is different? What should I be alert for? First of all, you have time. No matter what anyone says to you, this is a slow process of maturity. And the teachings will continue through the years. And new things will come forward concepts perhaps that you have not thought of and even in that which you would call the new age there will be a recalibration 
and it will offend some of you. For you will say, this is the way I am used to doing this. This is my concept of my partnership with spirit. This is my concept of love. And when it starts to move away from you and build something different, will you be ready? Will you go with that instead of against it? And the thing that we really have not spoken of much is the recalibration of love, of attitude of the old soul, of what you might face that is different and you may not even see it correctly. So the first thing we ask is how tolerant will you be of the shift? Will you be able to change with it, old soul? Or will you hold your ground and say, this is what I expected and therefore this is what I will do? Can you clear your mind and say, no matter what I've gone through or no matter what I think, I'm ready for that which I don't know. And come forward with it instead of criticizing or pushing it away. Swallowing hard, as they say. <laughs> and moving into it to see what it feels like. But this is what is going to be asked of you, dear human being. Especially those who sit in the room. Who would listen to a message like this in their lives right now. Well, you are the ones that are going to make the difference and plant the seeds. If you stay on the same course as you've been on, it may not serve you. And I mean that in so many ways, but especially attitudinal. How are you looking at the future? Have you prejudged what might be? Do you fear what might be? Or do you see it as we do? The earth has been dark for so long. And the old souls begin to light a match one by one. And we said before that match is not information. It's not doctrine, it's compassion. The match therefore is the light of compassion for the earth, starting one at a time for those around you you may not like so much. And you show the way. And here's really what we want to talk about. For 22 years, my partner, has described the relationship of us to you. And it starts to recalibrate. We've said these words over and over, you are not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. And for most human beings, it is ethereal. You sit in the closet by yourself, repeating it over and over, so you believe it hoping to feel something from the other side of the veil in times of, of sorrow and grief and depression, anger. And it's elusive. Or well, the veil has been thick with an old energy. The old energy of the father, of discipline. And that is changing. Teacher Jorge made a statement. The teacher Peggy enhances it. What would the parents do if they lose their children? They think they know where they are. 
they won't give up. They don't give up. The mother does not give up for she is attached. She is the biological portion. Her cells are the cells of her children. Even more so than the father. She has carried the child, has loved the child before they took their first breath, and will never let them go. And if there is a veil separating her from her children, she's in the dark. They cannot talk to her, she cannot talk to them. But if that veil were to lift even slightly and she could hear their cries, where do you think the mother will be? She'll be on her knees, listening in the crack of the veil, giving them encouragement, telling them that she's on the way. And I want to tell you that metaphorically, this is what is happening on the planet. For the veil starts to lift slightly, and for those of you who don't believe it, here is what we're going to tell you is the challenge of the day. A recalibration of love means that it is more accessible than ever before from the other side of the veil. Be in the closet, if you wish, alone and depressed. And for the first time, perhaps in a long time, you're going to hear us. And we're going to hear you. And you will feel us with you. More than ever, ever before. For suddenly the energy on the planet that you have created through these eons of time starts to pay off for you. For now, there's help far grander than it ever was before. There is no mountain to climb, dear ones. For now you've got help climbing it. And we're going to push you to the top if you will allow us. And that is the message of the day. Hard to describe out of 3D. But it is that we're not going to let you go. This is the beginning of what we had hoped for. Old soul, what you had hoped for, and you don't have to do it alone. There is an added complement of energy of love that is starting to infuse itself basically on Gaia. In a way that you're going to feel and the way that you are going to know it is there is that you will be absolutely certain we're standing next to you. It's a difference. Such a difference. And I will challenge you to begin to practice this. Knowing that we are there, standing next to you when you're in trouble, when you don't have words to say. We don't know which direction to go. Helping to develop compassion when before you had anger or resistance or drama. And you're going to feel yourself begin to soften in your reaction to things that used to make you mad. Situations that had often brought you anxiety, you'll be neutral. Some of you will even say, what is wrong with me <laughs> that I am not feeling anymore? Some of these feelings I've always felt before when this happened. And you'll know I'm right. And you remember this day and this time when I told you what it would be like. Go ahead, go into the closet and shut the door. For the first time, you won't be able to turn off the light because the light stays with you. And that's us. That's the mother. 
on her knees, shouting through the crack of the veil which is lifted, that says, we're here now. Don't give up. Continue. We're watching. We're here. We're pushing. And that ought to be good news. This is a recalibration of all that you have expected would take place. A recalibration of that which you have been. Don't prejudge. Don't decide what it means. Move in a direction where you expect that which is good and benevolent to be there for you. And then when it happens, smile and say, I knew that would be that way. And that is different. And that is different. These are the things we teach. To expect things which you don't expect. To be in places on purpose you didn't plan to go. To do things perhaps you never did. In anticipation of synchronicity that you never thought would be. And that is what creates light. What can you do? Tolerance, expecting the unexpected, and moving into something I will say is not three-dimensional. For trusting that which you cannot see or plan is not a three-dimensional experience. It is an experience where you take the hand of spirit and say, lead me through it. And then you do. And then you'll do it again. Because the first time worked. And then you'll do it again. And then you'll do it again. And that practicing will get you to a place where that is your lifestyle. Trusting that which you cannot see for survival itself. You've got time, dear one. You have time. Do not rush out and do things because of this meeting that you would not ordinarily do. Be circumspect and let some of these things settle. Look at your own life and you will see what's missing. You already know. And then you can act slowly. Test the waters if you wish. And we say that to you in all love because we know what the waters are like. They are different. And you will see it. And so, dear ones, this is the message of the day from all of the teachers on the stage. Even those who supply the music have in their heart this message. And they are teachers as well. Go from this place different than you came. And make it count. Strike the match we talk about in your attitude toward those around you. Slow to anger.